It's only been a few weeks since the Israeli High Court of Justice ruled that it's unconstitutional for the ultra-Orthodox to be exempt from the army. The ruling has led to several major protests and demonstrations, many of which have turned violent. Well, here with us now to try and wrap our heads around this issue is Uri Zaki, the president of the Meretz Governing Assembly and a human rights activist, and Rabbi Dov Halbertal, the former head of the office of the chief rabbi of Israel, and both a lawyer and former lecturer in Jewish law. Thank you both so much for joining us. Now, who is, who is backing these protests? The entire Orthodox community or just part of it? Not at all, not at all. Only part and an extreme part. They are not violent, they are against violence, but on the other end, they are not against blocking roads. And the other part, But a lot the of those people, part, I mean, we're seeing videos coming out of, of people engaging in these protests, spitting on other Jews who are walking by the street, yeah, that's calling terrible. them terms that's like terrible. shiksen. Yeah, calling, calling it a protest. Uh, but uh, the most or the majority of the Haredi wing is against all the approach of this section, those extreme people that you see in the screens and the, you, saw, you see all the... But there is one common, very important principle. All, the whole Haredi wing is against joining the army. Okay, so, I mean, let's just talk about, do you agree with the High Court that it's unconstitutional um, and defies the notion of equality to give exemptions to these to these people. I mean, what, what is your take? Let's let's hear from you, Uri. Um First of all, I, I accept uh, um, when the High Court of Justice in Israel makes a, a constitutional decision. That's uh, so. That's according to the Israeli constitutional law. They have the right to do that. And once they, they, that's what they declared, then the Knesset, uh, our parliament, needs to change the court uh, accordingly, much like in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, I might surprise you. I do think that at the end of the day, uh, this whole clash that is uh, since the 80s, when there was a, uh, basically a general exemption of uh, Haredis uh, from joining the military in Israel, that we have a compulsory service. Um, although we should say that it's compulsory service, but it's not to all. First of all, women, uh, women of faith are exempt from the military too. And you don't see the uh, High Court of Justice saying that it's uh, unconstitutional because of uh, uh, because of uh, inequality between the uh, uh, genders, for instance. Mm -hmm. I do think that uh, the, the current situation in which the rabbis are to determine who is to be exempt is a distortion. What I, should, uh, uh, what I think should be done is for the Knesset to change the law that not only women, but also men who uh, have either uh, a problem of faith with um, uh, joining the military, or a problem of conscience uh, with joining the military would be exempt. I don't think the military should be compulsed. On, on so you're saying uh, this is not a religious thing in, in, in this case, right? When you're saying conscience, you're just talking about an individual who as well, yeah. doesn't, maybe doesn't feel like he supports the IDF and therefore doesn't want to if join. It's, uh, as long as it's not, I, look, I'm an officer in the military, mm -hmm. uh, a reserve now, but I, I serve my compulsory service and I do my reserve. Um, it's not the issue, and, and I would serve anyway. But you know, to have these people who who feel that their uh, lifestyle can't uh, survive the military, and by the way, if the military would be um, suitable for Haredi service, the military would be completely different. Now we have men and women serving together. They want the, the in order to for them to stay uh, with their lifestyle, we need to uh, I'm separate. Just, I guess men my and women. my question here is how. What, what are we supposed to do then? I mean, if everybody can just choose whether or not they want to join the military. I mean, I it's think just confusing to me how this look, could be f I, fair, you I, know? I, I, I completely agree. But, you know, this is a situation right now with women, with 50% of the population. We still have a functioning military. Most of the Israeli women do join the military. Most Israeli women don't choose to uh, be exempt uh, from the uh, service. Haredi Jews in their majority will not serve anyway. It's not, but no, right now what we're doing is we are nourishing a uh, social clash within the Israeli society. Mm -hmm. We're making the rabbis, the chiefs of the uh, yeshivas very strong because they have the last word vis-a-vis -vis their students on who will serve and who will not serve. I think we should give it to the students themselves, to the individuals themselves to decide whether they want to serve the country or not. 
Well, I mean, I guess the concern here is what happens if people say that they don't want to serve. What if somebody who is not religious, is not ultra-Orthodox, says he doesn't want to serve? What do we do then? You will not say. The issue is very deep and very, very uh, serious. I will explain, I want to explain the moral issue that you arose before. It's not that, that the Haredi people are pacifists or something like this. There are two uh, big burdens here in Israel. One burden is the, you know, the security, all the, all the question of the army and security and borders, and it's a very severe and very uh, uh, difficult. And we know it as a Haredish, we know and we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you have another burden. The other burden is to keep the DNA of the Jewish people. The DNA to keep the, uh, you know, the existence of the, the, Jewish, the identity, Jewish identity. And as far as our Haredish point of view, it can be only by being surrounded by ourselves, closed. It's not that the Haredish people they don't go only to the army. They don't mm -hmm. go to the university. They don't go to 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 uh, clubs. They don't. Which uh, is a shame, by the way, the, about women. the university. What? It's a shame that they don't go to the university. No, it's not a shame. It's not a question of a shame. You, they you think, did. No, I, it's not a personal thing. I am sure, and everybody is sure, that if they will go to the universities, nothing will stay from the Haredish. From Why? The, why? That's that's that's. That, you know, you cannot, that's the soul of a person. All right, the well, listen, my friends, we, we've run out of time, Lubavitcher, 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 it's, it's, another, it's another story. We've <laughs> run out of time right when this is obviously getting even more interesting. Um, I think that this is going to be an ongoing issue, so we're probably going to have you two back in here at another point to continue discussing this, but thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you.